Hello, it's Mike Matthews. I'm standing on a corner of something representing the anechoic chamber. That's right, anechoic chamber is a room that has no echo in it. The quietest room in the world is actually in Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota, known as Orfield Laboratories Anechoic Chamber. You can look it up. The Guinness Book of World Records says nobody's been able to stay in there for longer than 45 minutes. Why? Because we're used to noise. But imagine being in a place where there's no reflection of my voice. My emotions cannot even echo back. In other words, I can only hear what's inside of me. That's what happens in this room. In fact, many people have testified they've been in this room, they can hear their blood flow through their veins. They can hear their heartbeat, they can hear their stomach gurgle. But what if we could actually find Christ within us, even though we receive him as Lord and Savior, oftentimes people can't hear what's really inside of themselves. And so as I look at all the scriptures, be still and know that I'm God, seek him with all my heart, on and on, go into the prayer closet, as Jesus said. But then all of a sudden I find out that prayer takes on a whole nother meaning when I start thinking it through, that prayer not only talks, but it listens. That's a new concept for many people, even though that was said hundreds of years ago. But Jesus' statement that the kingdom of God is within inside of us, I no longer worry about my hair, my teeth, my clothes, or what I look like. I care about who's inside of me, what's inside of me, but finally, I might have an opportunity to listen. I might break that Guinness Book of World Records because I might be so interested in what's inside of me versus what people say about me or how I'm impacting the world that I might find that the kingdom of God is really within me. I might reveal again that mystery that the Apostle Paul talks about me, Christ inside of me. When I accept him as the Lord and Savior 31 years ago, he came inside of me and he's there. But can I hear him? Can I commune with him? Is there this ability to understand? Old Testament, New Testament said that his law is written in my heart. It's very clear that we are the temple of his spirit, Holy Spirit, in me. Christ within me, kingdom of God within me. I hope you're encouraged by this. To What if we could go into a prayer room, a healing room, but an anechoic chamber which forces the issue to find out what really is happening inside of me. I might manifest the very Christ within me, Christ glorified. That's what scripture says. What if 2.5 billion Christians begin to manifest the beauty of Christ within them and they stop worrying about how good they look or how pretty they are? or how handsome they are, and they begin to reflect the glory of Christ within them. Well, I think we can, but we first have to be quiet and understand who we are in Christ Jesus and who he is within us. There's a deeper teaching on this that I give. Feel free to search for that on my YouTube channel. But for now, start studying about the anechoic chamber. I don't think you have to physically go there, but you do have to quiet yourself and know who he is within you. And then you get the opportunity and the blessing to be spilled over with the Spirit of the living God for other people. May God richly bless you.